Okay, today's tutorial is on eval. Uh, eval is a command that allows you to take a variable and run it as a command. All my years scripting, I think there have been maybe three cases where I've needed to do this. So it's even hard for me to think of an example to show you that makes sense. <laughs> but trust me, when you do need to do this, this comes in very handy. And uh, I'm showing you this because I do have a tutorial coming up. Uh, shortly that I'm going to use this um, but I don't want to use that as an example because that's a whole tutorial in itself that just uses eval so although I'm going to show you how eval works the way I'm using it here doesn't make any sense on why you would use it in this case so anyway let's say I had a variable I, I, I'm collecting data of some sort that actually is going to be part of a command or be a command itself uh, and then once it's in a variable, I need to execute it. Um, so give you an example. Um, X equals um, date. So obviously, if I echo out dollar sign X now, it gives me the word date. But if I use eval dollar sign X, it actually runs date as a command. Here's an example. I'll say echo date da, uh, plus percent s, which gives me the second since 1970 something. Um, once again, if I echo dollar sign x, I get the command itself. But if I eval it, it actually runs the command. You can see each time I run it, it's different because it evolves each second. Um, that's, I know it's kind of a weird tutorial, um, but definitely if you needed to do this, it's like, and there are the rare occasions, but when you need to do it, it's like, wow, I need to do that. What's that command again? It's eval. Um, and it just basically takes, uh, I think it's built into bash or the shell because there doesn't seem to be a man file for it, but don't quote me on that. Someone's going to write a comment being mean saying that I'm wrong because I probably am. Because uh, if I man eval, I do not see it. So I'm guessing maybe it's, in uh, the shell itself, it's a built-in command, uh, would be my guess. So if I was to man bash uh, and then eval, let's see next. I'm just searching through here now. Next. Ah, look, see, it is a built-in command. So um, basically, there it is and executes it by the shell. So it is built in um, to bash and probably most shell because I'm actually not even using bash in this tutorial. I'm using a, a different shell here that I'm going to do tutorials on in the future that I've actually been using more than bash lately. Um, but uh, that's it. I'm kind of mumbling because this tutorial was really short, but wanted to show you it before I actually use it in a future tutorial that will probably come in in probably about three weeks. I think it's going to be three or four tutorials from now on uh, the series that's coming up on video editing from the command line. Woo! Okay. Um, most of you probably aren't excited about that, but I am. Uh, thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description to my site. Uh, go there. If you have any questions, there's a help button that will take you to our IRC channel, which is running on the free node server. The channel is pound films by Chris. Once again, Chris is with a K, K-R-I-S, um, which is actually how I spell my name. Um, also, if you enjoy my tutorials, if you like what I do here, what I teach you, you find it useful, think about making a donation on my site. There's a donate button. I appreciate everybody uh, who donates. Uh, every little bit helps. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope that you have a great day, and may the source be with you. Boop.